Hey guys, what is going on today? Today we have another product here from Chemical Guys, my big box order. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video like this before, so I decided, you know what, it's about time you guys have been following along with me. I'm going to go ahead and restore the whole prelude on it. But the engine is really dirty, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. I could have used my 370Z, which is in a lot better condition. But the prelude here, you're going to see when I bring in the camera a lot closer. It is dirty, it's nasty. I just didn't want to worry about it because I knew it was going to be uh, eventually cleaned up anyway. So. I said, you know what, now that I got the Chemical Guys orange degreaser, it was time for me to go ahead and try it out, try and clean it out. So guys, here's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to actually be using it straight on the engine here. I haven't driven it in about two hours now, so it's starting to cool down. It is very hot here in Florida, so I'm going to bring it a little bit closer, but I wanted to give you the best of you I could before I go ahead and start. And uh, when you start a lot of this kind of stuff with the engine, do it while it's cool, do it in the morning, during the evening. Just don't have it running constantly. So I've got a few other things that I purchased from uh, Chemical Guys as well, as you'll see over here. I've got a bunch of their flathead bristle brushes. They're a little bit softer and stuff like that here. Not like standard, uh, like hard foam, or uh, not foam, but uh, you know what I mean, brushes. I have the long arm one. I also have the, the goat. This is a little uh, horsehair brush right here. Gets between the little cracks, crevices, and stuff like that that you can't get with maybe machine the big one. And of course, I have a little professional sprayer bottle right here I picked up from Walmart for, I think it was $3 right here, because we're gonna be actually uh, diluting this. Remember, you guys don't want to put it straight on there. You want to dilute the chemical guy stuff. And what I'll do is I'll go through the actual ratios of what you guys want. But in case you uh, just do decide to go ahead and buy this, it actually says it right here on the back exactly how much you need for if you want a heavy duty, a medium, or a light cleaning and stuff like that. And by the way, guys, this product says it can be used on automotive, obviously, your tools and equipment to get rid of the oil and grease and stuff off it, as well as your garage shop and stuff like that. And I might actually try that here at the very end of the video here, is uh, this, this uh, shop or the garage floor here has a little bit of coating on it. That way the oil and stuff can't seep into the concrete. It's a sealant type thing. And we'll try spraying it on there and seeing how it goes. So I'll see you in a second, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over the directions for you real quick. I hope you can see this, guys, on the screen. I know I'm not off the screen. It says, instructions are used. Dilute to desired strength. At a minimum, six parts water to one part degreaser for extreme cleaning. Ten to fifteen parts water per one part uh, degreaser for medium cleaning. Or twenty-five to forty parts water per uh, for light duty. It says, spray diluted orange degreaser on a cool surface. Obviously, I told you that earlier. Allow diluted product to soak for forty to sixty seconds. Um, rinse thoroughly with a clean stream of water. I'll be using my hose. I don't own a pressure washer yet. We're looking into it. Uh, do not allow any degreaser to dry on the surface. So basically that's all we're going to be doing. What I'm going to be doing is because uh, we're going to be doing the 6 to 1, I really want to get this grime and just nastiness out. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it good in the camera. It's just really dirty over the years. So I'm going to be doing um, uh, it's 6 to 1 right here. So uh, I, what I'm going to be doing is I have 24 fluid ounces in this uh, pre-made bottle right here of water and then all I'm going to do is add uh, four ounces of uh, the orange degreaser to it and I already have a measuring cup out, cup out here and then what we'll do is add it to it, shake it up and start getting at it guys. So I'm going to do uh, pour it out real quick, mix it in there and we'll move on from there. See you in a second guys. All right, guys, remember I already have uh, 24 fluid ounces in here, so to a 6 to 1 ratio, that would make it 4 ounces of the actual orange degreaser. I've already measured it out in my cup. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in here, guys, and then we're going to go ahead and start shaking it up, and we're going to start having a lot of fun cleaning this engine here. So, But I wanted to go ahead and show you that uh, actually I did measure it out and stuff like that. A lot of guys will say, you know, oh, you're doing it wrong. You're not adding enough, doing this, that, and the other, and I wanted to actually show it to you properly so that nobody can complain because... You know what? It's YouTube. That's all people do is complain and think that uh, they know better than everybody else in this world, as everybody knows out there. The internet is always right, correct? That's what they teach you in college anyways, huh? All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting it up here, getting it all ready, spraying it down, and we'll move on. See ya. All right, guys. Before I go ahead and start, I want to show you exactly how bad it is. Can you see all through here? This is all disgusting oil and dirt and stuff like that. See all coming through here near the head of it? It's really bad. All the stuff is really dirty, see what I mean? So we're dealing with the really bad stuff. The top of the battery is dirty. Uh, one thing, you guys, if you have a lot of electronic, electrics, electronics or anything like that uh, sticking out, you might want to make sure you cover it. On the newer cars, you don't have to worry about it near as much. Uh, they're all made for it. They're all sealed. You know, you like your uh, like bought fuse box, stuff like that. It's all going to be sealed, so it's okay. I mean, look at it, guys. You can actually see straight down through the ground. The car is made for it, and actually the stuff's made for it. Uh, my battery already has the terminal covers and all that, so we'll be, we should be okay here. But I really want to show you how dirty it is. That's just, I don't want to put my fingers in there. It's just disgusting oil. And we're actually going to be testing this out to see if it does what it can say. So that's all I really like to do on these videos is just test it out and go from there. So uh, let me go ahead and prime this up for you. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. All right, guys. So I'm just going to be liberally soaking the whole area, just soaking it in there really good in every uh, nook and cranny. And then we'll uh, 
We'll see what happens in 40 to 60 seconds. All right, guys? So here we go. Ah. There we go, just a little bit. Really get it in there. Guys, I can actually start to see it eating away like the dirt and the oil around here. Like I'm looking over here near the brake reservoir and you can just see it. It's just like popping off here, guys. I hope you can see that. If you're not, I do apologize. But I mean, it's just, it's just eating it away. This is lovely to see this kind of stuff work right here. All right, guys, now that we've let it sit for about 40 to 60 seconds, what I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and wash it off first because I'm probably going to be doing two levels of this. They recommend sometimes you might need two levels. So you know what? We're going to do it that way because I know it's really dirty. So let's really get in there and knock it out, put it on a nice stream for us here. Oh, my gosh. It's huge already. I mean, look. Look at it where it was. Remember how caked on it was? Wow. And I haven't even used the brushes yet. I'm going to still go back here and use the brushes, but I really wanted to get the initial junk. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, my God. Excellent already. Excellent. Wow, check it out, guys. Check it out. Oh, my God. i got to zoom in and show you. Look at where the brake fluid is here. There's a little bit still around the ring of the neck of it a little bit, but it is uh, actually pretty good. Remember, I'm going to go back a second time and actually uh, use the brush here. Look at up here at the top of the engine itself. Look at that. This, I remember I did not use a brush on it yet, and it is actually... Look at that. It all just fell off. That's great. And look at the battery. Let me move the camera tripod a little bit, as I like to show you guys everything. I'm sorry about the shaking around and stuff, but look. Look at that. Looks like it's clean again and new, and I haven't even rubbed it down yet with the actual uh, flathead brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back a second time, respray it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the brush. But I really wanted to get the original just stuff off, and dang, this is amazing, guys. This is great for just one spray down. I mean, wow. This engine was filthy, and it just fell off. So let me go ahead, and we're going to spray it down one more time, and then I'm going to use the brush this next time you'll see me. And then uh, we'll just wash it down, dry it off, clean it off, and I'll show you the final results. So far, amazing results. All right, guys, now I've went ahead and sprayed it down a second time. I'm just going to go ahead and start using the uh, flathead brush here. I go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and spray down the edge right here. I apologize about the mowers in the background. You know how it is in my neighborhood. Every day, there's have to be mowers. None of these people around here uh, actually want to mow their lawn. They're, you know, I live in a higher end neighborhood, let's just say, in a country club, and these people here <laughs> refuse to actually uh, mow their own yard. It's like, what, you're too poor? You have to mow your own yard? And that's the kind of look I get. Like, you actually mow your own yard? What? All right, guys, so I'm just going to go over easily with a brush here. Really just trying to get in there and just uh, loosen up any of the last bit of dirt through here. And then that's what I'm going to do is I'm just working my way around. This stuff's so soft to the touch, it's not going to actually hurt it or anything like that. So I'm not really worried. And all I'm going to do is just come around like I'm doing right here, just lightly going on through the cracks of the engine. Working it, working the actual degreaser in there, and then I'm going to spray it off, and then we'll show you the final results. It's all there is to it, guys. But so far, I mean, with just a spray on and wash off, I mean, it's done an absolutely amazing job. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I really two thumbs up here on this engine cleaning product. And honestly, obviously, you can use it on everything from your tools to everything else. It's it's been a miracle worker so far. No complaints from me so far at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up off camera here. And uh, we'll go back here, spray it off, show you the final results, and I'll see you in a second, guys. All right, guys, well, here we are. Here is the final results of just doing it with uh, one brush down. I didn't try and get into all the itty-bitty cracks in this and that. I know it's still going to be a little, a lot more uh, getting cleaned up here eventually because of the fact that, uh, you know, I'm going to try and restore the whole car back to normal. But I have got to say, this bay looks a thousand times better than it started. Remember all this thick goop that was through here and stuff? It went away like that. Remember the yellow top battery was completely covered? Clean, uh, your brake fluid over here, instantly gone with it. I mean, everything was like gone like that. I cleaned even the, the hood. It looks, um, just it's just spotless. I mean, I know the corrosion stuff set in because it was bought up in upstate New York back for, I lived there for, for the first five years of life. 
But other than that, I mean, this engine is in great shape. I do all maintenance on it. Everything's been done on it. Uh, and all the service is up to date on it. So I know it's a solid running engine. Uh, it just needs, you know, just need a little bit of TLC here to clean it up. And my God, does it look amazing for uh, just, uh, I sprayed it down once, as you saw. And the second time I sprayed it down, I actually got in there with the flathead brush, another chemical guys product. And I just easily went over everything, as you guys saw. And my God, the transformation is amazing, guys. If you need to clean up anything in your uh, engine bay, maybe you need to clean it up in your shop or your tools and stuff, this stuff really does the trick and it makes it look great. I've already started up the engine, of course, no problems at all. Uh, no issues whatsoever. And I, I've got to give it two thumbs up, guys. Easy A product for me here, guys. If you like this kind of video, make sure you hit the thumbs up for me. Uh, share, subscribe my videos. And guys, I will probably see you all at the very next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked it, you know what to do. Follow me. I've got Instagram. I've got uh, Facebook. All that good stuff. And I'll see you at the very next video. Thanks so much for watching. Let's see you soon. A little bit close-up videos. Look at that. I'm just going to bring you slowly around. Sorry, I'm, it's on the tripod. That is not my bike, but I hear it going by. Here's a bike just like mine, except it's red. Look at this. Amazing results. So there you go, guys. Chemical Guys Orange Degreaser. Thanks so much for watching.